there. Okay, hopefully we can get her done today. Yes, I am wearing gloves, not because I am afraid of the paint, but because I have boo-boos. I have boo-boos all over. We were busy this weekend, so let's get in here. I have a variety of stuff. I have Stays on Ink, because it felt like it wanted to come play. I have acrylic paint. I have colored pencils. I have this bright neon pink paint pen. I have brushes and ephemera and weird stuff everywhere. And I am ready to go. Now, remember, there's a coat of gesso, clear gesso, just on the face and the hair that I put on before this last layer. So, let's see where we can go with that. The only thing I didn't bring was, of course, my charcoal pencil, which I wanted, but I will make do without it. Because I mean to get this done this session, so I can get this out to a yellow. <sighs> Let us see. Where to begin? Ah, I think I'm gonna begin. Let me see. Yeah. I'm going to begin with colored pencil. And the hair definitely wants to stay blue. And if you can hear my toddler in the background, I'm really sorry. He, he promised he'd behave, but he's three and this for him is behaving. One of the things I love about colored pencil and clear gesso, doesn't seem to work really well. Change of plans. Toddler's going to sit in the room and munch on cheese crackers. So the crunchy munchy noises you hear over there are my three-year-old munching on his crackers because I'd rather hear him munching his crackers than screaming his noggin off. Okay. All right, I'm apparently going to have to take this one off because colored pencil <laughs> blends really nice on top of clear gesso. And these are not spectacular colored pencils. These are just plain old the heck are they? Blick. Dick Blick. Studio color pencils. That's all. I'm going to keep my glove on this hand because I really messed up my thumb. So please don't take it personal. And of course, we'll see what the three-year-old does. And I use a variety of colors when I do this. Dunny. I love my baby. I use a variety of colors to just add depth and tonation and I don't know why it wants to go like this, but I like that. I don't mean to make it look like it's striped. And if all else fails, I can throw a layer of translucent paint over it so I'm not feeling too bad about it. Get some more blues in. I like to add a lot of different colors. Like when I do blue hair, I will add in blue, but I will also add in pink and purple, and sometimes a couple streaks of green just to add to it. And yeah, sometimes you can't. Look, I'm sit if you can't see it on the camera, don't feel bad because I'm putting this pencil on right here in front of me, and I can barely see it. But this is what happens to your fingers when you do this. So we shall see. And I have been known to take like burnt umber and a white and add to it as well. I think with the black umber might be lost. So we'll go like this. Let's see. Now let's see. Hopefully my black. Do I want black? No, 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 no. This, this is part of the collage detail from the underpainting that I really liked the whole time. So I wanted to bring back out. And as I'm looking, I'm like, I can't see the other side. I know there are leaves on the other side as well. Oh, 
I love that clear gesso. It's that whole, just want to add a little detail, that's all. Honey, can you speak again? Oh. Me kiss? Who did No. Yes. Yeah. No. From the three year old. Let's make sure you can see what you're doing. She's turning out a lot more green than I thought. Yes. I don't want it too green. I'm listening, creepy. Mm hmm. Let's see. Raw umber, burnt umber. Well, I've got a raw umber <coughs> and a burnt ochre. Mm -hmm. Shh. Mom, shh. Is that? No. Shh. I might have to switch sides with this one. This one. Hold on just a moment, please. Take three. So much for it being fast and easy today. Oh my gosh. I love that child. He is so, so helpful. <sighs> so I did a little bit of shading with colored pencil. I don't always do a lot because it doesn't always need a lot. And yes, I know. Pink and green. They make brown, which in this case, I think I'm going to work with. I love what happened on the little lip, even though it was a mistake and it was paint peeling off. I still like it. I don't want to add too much color because, yep, it makes the paint peel off more. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to leave her mouth exactly the way it is. I might put paint back over it. I think that would be a good idea. Teeny tiny little bit to cover up some of that. Quick before anybody comes out and interrupts us again. Oh, that's better. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the windows open because it's a nice, nice day out. But you know, I have allergies and it's that fall season. All right. Where am I? What do I need now? Oh, 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 oh. I know, I keep squeezing my glove. Sorry. Move that layer out of the way. And see about adding some to her shirt here. Because I, I really liked the circles to begin with. And I'm not really doing anything. I took a darker green. This is... <laughs> and to read it, it's a blue-green, actually. And I'm just going around some of the shapes here. I, I didn't put clear gesso there, so I should just stop that. And it's just to bring that up, bring that out. And because I have something else I want to do over there anyway. So before I go any further with that, let me pull out my ink pad and see if I can do what I'm trying to do here. It might, it might not. Oh, it helps if I show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to bring out that texture very gently. Let me try it with my glove first. All right, that'll work. Do not be surprised if the boy comes back in. I'm just going to take my ink pad around the edges. Do I do this all the time? No, just felt. It's one of these things. I've actually been dreaming about this piece for a while. And every time I wake up in the morning, it's like, hey, you need to do this. Why don't you add some of that to it? Why don't you do this? 
And then I look at my intuition every once in a while, my inner artist, whatever you want to call her, and I go, are you crazy? I don't have 10 years to work on this. <laughs> and then she goes, eh, well, it was worth an idea. But you know, some of the stuff sticks. Let's see if I can bring some of this up. Outline it just a little. Yes, I know I'm using a color I already used before. And this is the Elizarine Crimson Hue. We'll see if that gives it just a little... Yeah, I know. I need to put this back so you can see what I'm doing. La la, it's one of those days. Just see if this gives it that itty bitty little bit of punch that I've been looking for. something. That's why I'm still here. I'm still missing something. I mean, other than the stuff that I anticipated doing, like working with the color pencil, that's a norm. All right, I see it. I do it. I'm good. Now what? Ooh, it's drying really fast. I hadn't anticipated that. I just love the subtlety of the green. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna add a little. You know, I bought, I brought out some paint colors before I started this, and those are not the paint colors I want to use. Hmm. All right. I have an experiment. We'll see how well this works. Yes, I had a couple colors laid out, thinking, "Oh, hey, I'll be using these." Nope. Those are the only ones I haven't even looked at. And this is, sometimes when I use clear gesso as an underlayer, that colored pencil just melts. You don't see not a wisp of it. I mean, the color's there, the pigment's there, but it looks like, oh, you know, I painted that in so well. And then other times I do it and it's like, Wow! Why is that not going away? You know, that should blend better or something. Let's see if I can get this to blend in before it dries. And yes, there's no rhyme, no reason. I'm just working here. That's kind of what I do. You can't even see it, and I like it better, so I'm not going to complain. And yes, I go over and over and over and over, trying to make sure I can integrate everything and everything just the way it wants to look. I just, I, there's something about the texture of this that just thrills me to no end, which is why I keep going back to it. I don't know. I can't tell you. It just does. Just something there. And this is just me listening to the teeny tiny noisy voices in my head. God knows they go on and on enough. And see, I have been sitting here thinking, oh, I want to do dots, I want to do swirls, I want to do all sorts of stuff. 
And then when I sit down and I look at it, I go, no, that'll be too busy. That'll be too much. I don't want to do that. So I have not. I apologize for the snorting allergies and everything else here. I have some, okay, it's in a container that says gloss medium. It is not. not it is not gloss medium at all. It is just plain old gel medium. I keep using the container because I buy this stuff by the gallon. Not the gloss. I made that mistake. I did buy a gallon of gloss medium and found out I did it by accident. I thought I was just getting gel medium, but it came back with gloss. And I'm like, oh! So, for quite a while, everything I did was glossy. Which is why I developed that habit of taking gloss medium and speckle and mixing it together. I have ephemera. I will be revealing it in just a moment. And this is the other reason for the glue, or I'm sorry, for the glove. Hopefully it doesn't dry on me before I get it in the right place and get it adjusted. See, she's this painting has been asking for something, and it's been asking for something, and it has not been asking for dog fur, so excuse me while I yank that out. <laughs> Sorry. It's been asking for something, and I'm hoping that the gel medium will adhere it. If not, I have super heavy gel, but I really don't want to have to go dig for it because I'm not sure where it is. I have to put things up safely so that my toddler does not, you know, abscond with my stuff. And I also have to make sure, hang on, let me get this extra cloth, that my 14 year old doesn't abscond with my stuff either. Let's see, I do believe. Yep, I wanted to lay it right about there. It's one of those very lucky, lucky pieces that I didn't intend. Oh yeah, this is going to stick well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I may even be able to drop some color in on it. Nice. Woo woo. Um, this was one of those things because I've been saying to myself, hey, this piece needs something. It needs a little bit of extra something, something. It needs... And it... I kept thinking, ooh, okay, I'll doodle, I'll do this, I'll do that. And every time I thought, ooh, I'll doodle, I'll do this, I'll do that, my brain went, ah, it's going to be too busy. Excuse me while I look for a transparent green. Or at least a similar transparent. What color is this? Ah, that's my color. It should show up against that pretty well. We'll see. But every time I thought, oh, you know, I can just do it all. Oh, hey, hey, I can make, you know, pieces of mandala sticking out behind her head. Ooh, ooh, I can do stuff for her hair. And originally when I pulled that out, I put it up against her hair and I went, no, wrong place. It did not like being up against her hair. So I went, well, let's try it down here in the shirt. What's the worst thing that can happen? It doesn't doesn't look good anywhere and I have to, you know, scratch the idea and do something else. Eh? Okay. I'm fairly easy. But when I put it on this morning before I started filming, I looked at it and thought, yeah, it needs to be on the shirt. I guess that is kind of blending in with the shirt. We'll fix that in a minute. But it's just one of those lucky things. My daughter was going through her closet and went, Mom, get this off this dress. I didn't know it was there. It's horrible. Like, oh, okay. Like, can I have it? Sure. I don't want it. It's horrible. It's ugly. Like, that is so pretty. And there's two of them. And originally I thought, well, okay, maybe I'll put two of them on. Now, when this dries, I will go around this. Do I have to wait till it dries? Hmm. Let me see. I do not know. I was going to say I'll go around it and add some shading. But even as I'm saying that, I'm like... Mm. Yeah. Well, let's see. What will we use for shading? Because I don't... I used burnt sienna up there. And that's a little too... A little too red. A little too light. So, burnt sienna. And then my toddler's back. Hi, Mom. Hi, Stinks. Oh, Hello, Bodge. Help. Daddy. Yes. Oh, yeah? Stop. Oh. Move. No doubt. Mmm. Mmm. I did so much. And I don't 
Oh. And our commentary. Shut up. <laughs> yes. And there he goes. Sometimes he just needs to be heard. Don't we all? Only now I have to listen to his cartoon theme music. Hold on one moment, please. Don't want to get that phone call going. You're infringing on our rights by having that in the background of your video. No! I just wanted him to go away. I don't even know what he's watching. Oh, I didn't say this part would be exciting, did I? <laughs> Colored pencils are making noise when I wrench my brush. <gasps> yes, I know I'm strange. Don't worry. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> And I apologize for my toddler, but I figured if I ever wanted to do anything, I'm going to have to get him used to leaving me alone. And the only way to do that is to make a few videos with him in there, so that by the time I'm doing these on a much more regular basis, he'll be like, eh, mom's recording, eh, I don't want to be there. But then again, knowing my little Leo over there, hey mom, look at me. Because that's just my boy. And we love him for it. Okay. Taking my paint pen here. Making sure it works. And no, no rhyme, no reason. I just like it. Now I'm moving the painting again, aren't I? Da, 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 da. This is really all I'm doing. <laughs> I told you, not that thrilling, I swear. Almost. Yeah, there we go. That looks more like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> the hair's bothering me. It would be the one thing that drives me crazy. I don't know why. Just want a little, just a little bit more sun. Mm. So it doesn't look so stripey with the black stripes, even though, you know, I put black stripes in on purpose. Okay, that looks good for shading. What do you want for me? Light kill, light layers of paint over clear gesso. I really think that was it. And I love this. I don't want to mess that up. This side doesn't doesn't look as dark as the other sides to me, so hold on. I'm going to... Whoops, I know. Hey, look, we're making a video. Hello. Don't mind me. Yeah, I know. I'm doing it again. <laughs> Just want to make sure it's right. Alright. And this... This is it. She's done. As odd as that seems for someone who, man, I have all these ideas. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do this. And when I stop and I listen to the painting, the painting's like, uh oh, this is good. This is happy making. So, hopefully you can see her. Everything is my shaky little hands go back and forth. 
she is. This is not at all what I envisioned. I actually thought there was going to be flowers in the hair and doodles everywhere. And I meant to do a lot more, but when it really came down to it, this is what the painting wanted. And she's happy, so I'm happy, and I really, really hope that Ayala's happy. And that's it. I really think she's done. So, thank you for watching. Thank you, Ayala, so, so much for letting me play along, because this was so much fun. And thank you, everyone, for tolerating my toddler, because, you know, he loves the attention, even if he doesn't know who the attention is coming from. <laughs> thank you, thank you all so much, and come back anytime.